I went to Nakuru. I started visiting witch doctors so they can give me and Muslim witch doctors so they can give me a chain to put in on my, so I can protect me. Those charm they don't have power like Queen Mother. Sometimes Queen Mother will appear na hizo chains zinaanguka tu chini peke yake. I went to Edoret the cemetery with the, that witch doctor in the night. We slept there. We dig the bodies, the grave so I can protect myself. Nikawa nimenunua kuku hen ya white. Mm-hmm. White hen and uh, black. So I I told that guy he ni damu ya kuku iwezi fanya anything that queen mother is very powerful but i want to quit this thing When I went to visit another witch doctor, because this one, I slept with this one in Doret, nothing worked out. I was very hungry. I went back to the Queen Mother. I told Queen Mother, I, want, I went back to my form because I still have those powers. Mm-hmm. I can connect with those powers. So I went to, to the toilet in the night. I connect with that powers. I went back spiritual to attack the witch doctors in Nakur. Mm-hmm. I told that witch doctors, do you know so and so? Alikuwa witch doctor kama wewe. Sahi yako wapi? Don't me is dead. I told her I was the one who killed her. We mimi. Even you, you give me fake charms. I start attacking that witch doctor. Mm-hmm. Then when I I attack that witch doctor nikamvuruta spiritual outside. I went back to my friend in Nakur. I slept I went to the bar, I drink beers. So I went to my friend. Then my friend, ah, nilifika Nakuru late. I don't want to go to sleep. The lodging is late. Let me pass the night here. I'm traveling to Edoret. I wanted to be sure if I attacked that witch doctor properly. The following day, I went there. Because those customers they know me. Said, ah, doctor is not around. Alipatikana amepigwa na wakora amepelekwa hospital. I asked them which hospital. They told me the eh, main hospital, the government hospital. I went to hospital and I met that guy. I told him, "Do you remember I won you?" So I start again giving that with Dr. Cancer. I lift up my hand. Queen Mother appear with a smoke. So I will do like that. This I give that with doctor a cancer then i go back to start working with queen mother said so this is the third time i'm trying to change but it's not working out now i want to cancel myself comfort myself and be ready to lose my two kids immediately but i want to become rich so people can know i have money i have everything i was ready in that is 2022 Mzwane. But when I came back to Nairobi, Queen Mother gave me an assignment in a big hotel here in Nairobi. I, I say no. I, I, I don't think I can do this. Queen Mother sent me with my colleague to a lady. When we go, there's a lady I want you to go and bring that, this lady, this and this and this. When I reached that hotel, I was very surprised. A celebrity, two ladies and one man. Work of fame here in Kenya, I was like, what? Even these two. So I gave the man a watch and five necklaces. I end up like a And this lady, I give her spray. This, that lady is alikuwa na imba circular, but akaokoka. Start singing good name, good songs. I don't know what happened to her now. I give that lady f- five bottle of spray. And this others my w- I, I was with my colleague. So what is the spray for? Queen mother told me 
this prey because this lady belonged to the the other world this prey you will use this prey in the, inside the church maybe you are sitting candle and I will spray and you will not realize will give you the spirit bad spirit maybe you will enter your house your baby will start being sick so when i we are coming out from that big hotel in super highway i stand and i feel something entering my body i say that's a, i know that powers i say that this is the leopard is ending my body meaning queen mother and attacker ni kuna mission in us few second queen mother appeared and told me and cross the road fast me i cross the road i have wow nikaangalia nyuma nakapata a lady with a baby kali membonga i was what what is this now there's this car in town okay. those i will not name the cars but they are very bad cars i went back to queen mother i met the owner of those big big cars zinatumia anga barabara sana sana erongai matatu eh? matatu yeah i met the owner queen mother told me he give me a chain and be a job well done huyo alikuwa sasa anapea na sacrifice through me i feel very bad i decided mbaya mbaya i will not do it anymore i went back to my kakamega my hometown i ran it away that day I didn't want my queen mother to suspect me. I will I remove my shoes. I wear like a very funny dress. Then I start I left my phone there. Remember I told you I throw many things away first. So they bought for me another. Is it to like phones, wigs I was having. I went and throw Mombasa Indian washing knowing they will found them. Because pale Mombasa pale ferry we have a big snake yenye huwa inatoa vitu chini inaleta juu so our masters can take so i went to likoni when i decided no this is the first time and i will not do it again mm -hmm. they were already giving me a house in sokimao i went to that house i burn everything i take the document i give to the gate man kwa sababu nime left my phone nimetoa tu laini peke yake nime left my phone kwa kwa queen mother kwa hotel in kitengela I went to my house Sokimao I burn everything nikatoka na zile vitu I enter the SGR I went to Mombasa with my spiritual husband helping me he went back and tied queen mother he give queen mother something queen mother fall asleep there is something queen mother when you want to do that jobs in outside the country will sleep for four days without waking up so this spiritual husband did that for me So I managed to travel to Mombasa with those wigs, chains, many things, lipstick, bar, everything belonged to Queen Mother. I went and threw in Indian washing pale Ford in Fort Jesus. The other I, I went to Likoni, I throw inside the water in the night na ferile ya usiku. Unajua in the night there's no many people. Yes. You can be two or three. So I went top, I throw even my big phones then is liko kwa nyumba i throw i knowing what has ipata they belong to them i came back nikachukua sjara again i went to my house in sokimao remember the queen mother is still asleep so my spiritual husband told me let me and go and give queen mother more doors i want queen mother to sleep even for a week so you can quit when my spiritual husband went i start burning clothes shoes good things i burn everything i give the gate man the key but the document for the house i take back to the queen mother in the hotel i put under the pillow and i tell the spiritual person now i'm i'm ready to go but remember there's more spiritual husband they attacked my spiritual husband wakamfunga wakamtai pamoja kwakiti so i cannot escape but this spiritual husband already given me some smoke yenye ukipulizia spirit they they hate garlic if you are christian garlic is good because they hate garlic 
you given me garlic with something. So wakati niliona this um, physical and this the spirit. I do like this garlic then they fall down. Mm. I managed to escape. So I came to town without even slippers. I went to the car. I paid the blue line. I want to go to Kakamega. Though I entered the car, I went to Kakamega. Remember, siasa ndio ilikuwa sasa inakuja on 2022. I went back to Kakamega, yes. So when I went back to Kakamega, the worst I meet this, the former big boss told me, now you are back. I want you to, you will work for me. The but big boss of which one? The, the Arab? No, I don't want to mention the in Kakamega the big the parliament man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. told me, you will not. I will not sleep with you. I will not give you pregnant so you can care for me again. But you are the one who can touch this f f spiritual money. You will help me, but it will be your secret. I will send you somewhere to give people those monies. The rest live for me. So I, I started doing the job because I don't have option. Remember the first time I told you, my, I went to my aunt because I don't have money. I, they want to feed me. This man will not give me money. Who told me, you left my job. You have to do this. This is a punishment I'm giving you. So I agree because I don't know how to pray. You will be in April 2022. So I will do the job. The dirty job. I will give. They will give. He will give me money. I will give people in the night. They will vote for this. Vote for who? Vote for. So, I did that. One day, I came back home to my auntie's place. I found my my daughter called me and told me, "Mommy, uh, Kuka, the grandpa, grandfather, throw your things out. He don't want you here anymore because." You don't have money, you don't provide. When I went, I, I found my clothes, everything's out. I was crying, something's telling me, and, or you go back to do the, that job. But I remember the people I have killed, I say, no, I will pray. So I went back swallowing Bible. I said, the, the mm -hmm. only one thing who can protect, can protect me. I told my daughter, give me, my daughter have a small Bible. They give me one. So anytime I feel like there is something want to attack me, I will grab the paper and swallow and drink the water. And everything will go to normal. I did that. You keep in the election, campaign, Ikaisha. But no, I have nowhere to go. I, I, because it's election, you know, election, you can sleep anywhere in the night because people, they're all over walking around so I can go to the bar after bar. I will drink beer. So it was on Ilikuwa Mwezuwa Nani. Then I went back to the town, Kakamega. I met my friend, start sharing with my friend. My friend told me, no, I will not allow you, you to go back because you have a school fees issue. You don't have home, you have nothing. Now I start borrowing clothes from my friend. Can you help me with your cross? Because remember, I burn everything. My spiritual husband told me, if you want to survive, don't carry even a small of peace. You, you left or you burn everything. For my story, I burn everything. I, I, I was left with the two wigs and two phones. I went and threw to the river. We have a river in Kakamega. I took those phones, I threw them inside the river in two those weeks because I, I said no God I will not do this anymore if you have to forgive me I don't want to kill I'm ready to lose my marriage because I know one day my husband will hear this story and will say no I don't want this woman anymore but I'm not ready to go back and I was talking to God I told her sometimes I would say, tell God sit down I told God you are the one who allowed me to do this because you took my mom and you know I have no father. We have no, I have only mother. Come on, spare my mom. Sing a kwa world. Enough is enough. So in your campaign, 
before he went to Kakamega, he go and rent a small house, a castle, very in ghetto there in Kakamega. Mm -hmm. But they will not allow me to cook and eat normal food. When I cook rice, it is bad. Like I go, I to add jigas. Yeah, yeah. If I cook tea, the tea will turn blue, or red, or black. So they will give me. When I sleep, they will feed me spiritually. When I wake up, I'm full. I don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. So if I want to eat, I will go to my landlord and eat. But if I cook. My food will change. I will not eat. Mm -hmm. So I have no one to share that story because how can you tell people I cook tea that it blood? They will think you are crazy. Mm -hmm. So I was the thing who protect me. My faith in the Bible. I will swallow Bible like like I will mm -hmm. I will I will tell God I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to read the Bible. I don't want to go to church, but I will swallow the Bible. So I swallow the Bible. I have no Bible. I went to my landlord and stole the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> because I believe only this Bible can protect me. Mm -hmm. So I went to my landlady on Sunday. Landlord started asking the grandchildren, "Where's my Bible?" I was like, "What?" I almost well, I, almost a half of the Bible is wow. asking, where's my Bible? I say, you, you continue asking the Bible, but I have the Bible. Mm -hmm. I cannot give you back this Bible so I can die. My faith is in this Bible. <laughs> so I swallowed the Bible. The morning this, I will go to the campaign. I will come back. Lecture Nikaisha, Hivo, continue swallowing the Bible. So I met that lady and told me, Anne, I, will, I want you to be a, to change, but I told him, no. It's better I go back. Now I was thinking to go back. And so, because I don't have money, this big man, I have school fees balance like 80, 90K, told me I will not pay this money. Because these people, they will not allow me to use the money and sign covenant. I can use the money to enjoy myself, but not to settle my kids or my bills or pay school fees. So I was like, I don't have a job. This girl is in Form 3 now. Next year, now is this year, 2023, is going to Form 4. I don't have money. And if I told this girl to drop out, will cry. The better thing, I will go back and kill this girl. Yeah. I don't want questioning. I told mommy, Apo Nyuma, you look good. Please, I want school fees. The better thing is to go back and cite the covenant and tell Queen Mother, take this girl accidentally. Maybe Gary Mgonge, anything, but it's better I do that. So I prepare myself very well to go back to Queen Mother. So I fall asleep. And I start seeing those people I killed, crying, crying. Told me, Anne, please don't do this. Repent, repent. You are not the one. Please repent. You are a good woman. I will scream until my landlord will come and tell Anne, why are you screaming? Mm -hmm. But I will not tell my landlord anything. I will tell my landlord it's a very bad dream. But I will saw those people when you were Kufa telling me, Anne, stop blaming yourself. Repent, go to the church. I will tell those people, no, I will not go to the church. Those bishops and pastors are evil. They will tell me, but it's not all church. Look for the woman or a man of God. They pray for you. This spirit will stop haunting you. Mm. I will start again. So in the morning, when I wake up, I wanted to cook tea. The tea, it can bad like a blood. I say, no, and you are a fool. When you swallow the Bible, everything's okay. You do this. Take this Bible and cook tea with this Bible. So I, I mm -hmm. grab the Bible, I put side inside the sufuria, I put water, I put tea leaves, and I cook the tea never change. I say, wow, in the quarter of a second, I have God here. I will use this Bible to cook all my food. So I forgot. 
but my heart is telling me to go nikaamka asubuhi i take the ile nguo nimepewa pewa na mabeshte i burn them no i i go and throw inside the toilet no the villages toilet mm -hmm. yeah i go and throw those clothes zingine nikagawa i was very ready to go so my friend called me and told me no and i know the problem you have is accommodation and school fees you go to town there is this church i will send you there uh, i think you know this guy because you know this children home vizuri they will help you maybe to settle your school fees bills and they will accommodate you so i went there i was very stressed ukiniangalia na kaa kama mtu mwenye ako 50 years old I was bad. I don't want to go back. But this spiritual husband is with me. He told me, Anne, I will go back to grave when I will see you settled. But I will not allow these people to kill you. I went to that church. And uh, I found this senior pastor. I told this senior pastor, I have a problem. I, have, I need accommodation. And my girl is out of school now. I don't have any money. Told me, I'm, plan I'm planning to open a women's home. So if you have somewhere you can stay for a few days, so I can buy furniture, beds for that house, you will come. So after one week, I called. The lady told me, no, we are not ready now. I was like, ah. The mind will tell me, I need you just to go back and live that life. Ungekuwa umeenda kitambo, ungekuwa ume, umemalizana na huyu mtoto umezika, umeanza kusahau. So I will think to go back. But my heart, I will normally see my mother crying. Told me no, don't go, don't go. So I will cry and say I was raped. They did this and this to me. Nimekula nyama za watu, nimekula kinyesi, I will go back. I have five. If I kill two, I still have three. And I can give birth. So this friend of mine insisted, and don't go. But I start going to the club. So I can know if you are a woman, you can go to club. But the funny thing, when I end a club and I go to the toilet, when I go to the mirror, in, I will not see my face in the mirror, I will see Queen Mother. Oh. So we, I will run out, screaming. The waiter, the cleaner will come, told them, I, there's something in the mirror. When I go with them, I will show my face. But mm -hmm. if I go alone, I will see Queen Mother. So people, I will start, Queen Mother will make me start thinking, very funny. So we'll see, hear people saying, hey, this lady is stinking. But me, if I do like this, I'm not stinking, but he want me to suffer so I can go back. For that two weeks, I suffered. I decided to move. They called me, now that senior pastor, Mina, you can come with your clothes, the house is ready. Now my mind, I was decided, no, I will not go there. I will not kill my kid. Watch a drop out on school, but I will not do it. Maybe I will be okay. After two years, my girl will go back to school, but I will not go. I comfort myself. So I went to that women home, staying there, but they will not allow me because I don't know how to pray. There's no one to pray for me. I will go to church. I will see Gladys. I will run away. When we finish church, I will be the one to go. So in the night, they will give me something to eat. So there is this a lady who take care of women will come and ask me, Anne, you are not cooking food. What's wrong with you? Everything is still there. Now it's almost a month. I would tell her, ah, nakula children's home. When I came, I feel like I'm full. But in that house, they will punch me still. I will lock all doors and enter my bedroom and sleep, but in midnight, I will find myself out. In fact, sometimes I will find myself outside the gate, not the compound. Mm. The gate, sleeping outside the gate. Mm -hmm. I will wake up because I knew what is happening. I will open the gate, 
and when I went at the house, I will found all door open, but I locked doors. I will enter my house, the house, go to the bathroom, take shower. I will sleep. They will feed me nyamazawatu. I will eat. Oh. In the morning, I will go to the shop and buy eggs. Sometimes I don't have money, but I will find maybe 200, 300 under my pillow. Mm -hmm. I will take the money, go and buy egg and come and eat. But I don't want to. I will see Queen Mother, but not full. Half. I can't see the face. I will see the legs. And I will see my spiritual husband told me, stop worrying. Go and look for someone who can pray for you. So I get tired. I wanted to end up my life. I say, no, I will not do this anymore. I want to die. That is on October, almost on November. I called my friend who stays with my daughter because my aunt threw me out with my daughter. So I talked to my friend, tell my friend, me, I'm a big woman. I can even found a man and go sleep with a man. But you stay with my girl. So before, before I rent that small house, I will sleep with men. So because I don't, I don't have where to go. So I will go, I will sleep with any man. So I told my friend, I'm tired. I want to end my life. I tried to call Queen Mother and tell Queen Mother, you wanted to kill me long time ago. This is the time. You have punished me enough. I will not eat the food you give me in the night. I want to die. You just come and kill me. So I start breaking glasses. I called my friend. My friend responded immediately because he knew I'm going through a lot. He came immediately and he found me trying. I was almost killing myself. And he grabbed his knife. Then he called the landlord. Ma, you call this lady who take care of this women. Tell that lady to come very fast. The situation is bad. The, I thank God the lady responded immediately with the, his husband. They came and fight me, found me. I, I was looking like a dragon. They was afraid even to come near me. But because that lady can pray, but Nimuoga is a very afraid. Mm -hmm. it's praying for me, but he's very afraid. He told me, can hear them talking. And he looked very funny. Look like a dragon, like a it looked very funny. This and uh, they will come and pray for me. So I came down. They took me, they told me you will not sleep in this house alone. We will go with you to Tim's mom. They went with me to lunch hour. So in lunch hour, we have they have a small in town, they do lunch hour um, prayers. I went there, but my mind was not there. I will I wanted to, something telling me, you have to tell these people what you are going through. So they came, we speak, we speak. I saw mommy, I was very afraid. But I have no option. The mommy who helped Glad, you. yeah. Okay. I was very afraid, but I told myself, no, this woman is the right woman to pray for me. So I seated down, calmly they pray for me. I told them a quarter of us the story because I was like, they will keep mouthing. But the funny thing, <laughs> they keep mouthing about <laughs> gossiping. gossiping about me. Yeah. But the funny thing, mm. the pastor I trust, <laughs> he went gossip mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the pastor I trust after one week. Now I left the women home. Nicotine's mom. This pastor, my friend called me. I have a friend who make my hair because he understand me. So he will tell me, and I know you don't have money, but I will not allow you to look funny. He called me and tell me, hey, Anne, we are friends for many years. You are a devil worshiper. Who told you? At, ah, you are pastor. Pastor who? Pastor so and so. I was like, no, I will not trust these people again. So when I went to Tim's mom, they give me a Kasavan quarter, mm. HQ. I stayed there, I cook my things. The system came back. I can't cook anything. But I thank God, mommy already started praying for me. Mommy prayed for me 
with their, his husband and another lady. I was wearing chain. Mm -hmm. That chain, iko hivi. Here is dragon. Here is snake. And here is leopard. But if you not look very carefully, you will not understand. So this lady was praying for me. And I can, that day, the first day to see Lucifer. But this Lucifer is very weak. And they came, the big master Lucifer, the queen mother, the Arabic, to take this dragon and leopard. So this lady, akakata your chain. Nikasikia kitu imetoka, wow. So I saw this, the, this Lucifer mwenye amefungwa na minyororo, akajaribu aka kuinua mikono zaki, then they grab the dragon told me, and you have killed me, you have killed me. And the queen mother is screaming and screaming. And mommy, with his husband and this lady, they are praying and praying and praying. So I left with dragon, I left with the leopard and snake. The dragon now is gone. I can feel this leg very painful because they used, I have a mark here. They put dragon through here. But the snake and leopard, they put it backwards so i will feel the pain but mommy they will pray and pray and pray and pray i saw two spiritual husbands they came like a, like a, like a leopard so i start moving they told me mommy told me after the deliverance he saw me moving the first time i was behaving like a dragon the other lady was uh, very afraid Say, Anne is behaving like a dragon. Now the dragon left my body. Now it's this uh, leopard. The leopard came out like, I don't know how to explain it because I was not myself. Mommy he will tell you more. He saw me going around like a leopard. Macho yangu ya metan na kakama leopard kabisa. They prayed for me like for two hours. They managed to come the leopard outside. So they let me be fast and rest. They pray, they took me back home. I went to my house, I was very weak. I can't even cook or eat, I was full. When I went to my house, I slept. So I saw a lady with the eggs. He gave me eggs, nikakula, boiled eggs, ate. Nikakula spiritually, then I sleep. I wake up in the morning, Mimi came. Mimi will come every day to pray for me. Pray for me. Now I have this snake power. I want to eat egg. I hate people. I don't want to speak because they started gossiping. At Annie is a devil. Remember, there's a lady who pretended to pray for me, but they pull up, they say, no. Wherever we, play, we pray for Anne, the demon will attack our babies. We will not. They will even tell mommy to mm. stop praying for me. Mm. Intense mom, they brush they brain wash the girls. So the girl will start the drama. One of them will say, I saw Anne in the night trying to, to kill me like a dragon. But mm. I knew there's no dragon in me anymore. I have only snake. Also, I knew this girl that are lying. So pastor can send me away. But I thank God our senior pastor will never agree with those girls. Say, these girls, I know these girls very well. This is drama. Mm -hmm. So those girls, we, are, we have a neighbor. That neighbor, when he will see me, will burn the door. <laughs> so hey, they will even call the landlord. If this aunt is still here, we'll pack out and go. So the landlord will say, no, I don't want to lose my best customer because of you. You teens, mom, you have to pack out. Those girls, they went around the, those small, small shops. I can't even buy the credit. When people see me, they will go that way. Now, I went to that lady. I asked that lady, every time I can come here and tell you, so I want bread, you will not sell for me. I want credit, you will not give me. Tell me what is happening. That lady opened up and told me, well, we were told you are a devil worshiper. You eat people. Me, so I can eat you. You think I can eat you? Mm -hmm. If I want to eat you, I can eat you even in the night. If I want to eat you, you will enter the house and you will find me there. 
So stop this nonsense. That day that lady sell me a bread and a credit. I went to the house. I start crying, crying. There's a lady there who called mommy. Said mommy, Annie is crying. So this big man in town with the two wives started threatening me. You don't have to be here, Anne. So I came out from the Austin farm. They stopped supporting me. They will not buy me food. They will not do anything for me. I will start telling mommy, if I want to go to eat with these girls, they will run away. So I start jumping to my friend's house. I will sleep here two days, sleep there three days in Mias. You know, many women behave funny when you go there, they will think you will take, you will grab his husband away. Mm. So they will give, show me attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can go. The husbands there are highly guarded. <laughs> yeah, they will show me attitude. <laughs> so <laughs> they I are will, guarded with attitude. Attitude. <laughs> I will go to another. So the only person I call, I can call is Gladys, mm. who will understand me and pray for me. Mm. There is a day I say, or oh, I end. I have to end this life. I don't want to live anymore. Mm. Nika, I came out from town. I entered the car to Mumias. Mm. I wanted Mumias. We have many trailers who carry sugar canes. Mm -hmm. I say, well, if I go to this camp Terimuko, I will. I will saw the truck coming, and I will cross the road. Mm -hmm. So the funny thing, you wanted to commit suicide. Yes, suicide. Mm -hmm. When I wanted to try that. The spiritual husband appear and push me. The truck almost killed me. Mm -hmm. And spiritual husband told me, Anne, go back. That woman will pray for you. I know many people, are, they are afraid of you. So I will sit down and say, now it's four years. I never see my boys. And my husband will not understand this story. They can, this story will make the situation worse. It's better I die. I don't want to live anymore. I went to the, the aggravate shop and buy dawa. Tell me, give me the, the bed bags, dawa ya kunguni. So I went to the house. I put that in my friend's house. I said, mm -hmm. I will drink this poison here, but I will not die here. Mm -hmm. I will start walking around town in Mias so I can die. I don't want police to think this lady killed me. So I buy the dawa. Then I put inside the glass, I put water. When I want to drink, the glass dropped and the glass broken. I hear a voice. Anne, you are my daughter. Anne, you are my daughter. I love you. So I saw light. I was like, what is this? I ignored the voice. Kunadawa ilikuwa ime back. Then I took the dawa again. I put inside another glass. Remember, the lady of the house is not around. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, this lady will, you will find out I break this glass. I don't know what I will tell this lady. So I grabbed the cup. I put that dawa, I put water. Then I mix it very well. Because this, when you mix this, the nini with the water will kill you fast. Mm -hmm. I mixed it. I wanted to nini to drink. Mm -hmm. You see this, kakanjiwa kana ituaji? Kakandege yaka. Dove, mm -hmm. the white one, mm -hmm. appeared and grabbed the cup. The cup fell down. Mm -hmm. And I break this cup again. I was like, what? This lady will kill me. I took the cup and go and throw the toilet. Then inside the toilet, I hear the voice. Anne, you are my daughter. Go and repent. I have already forgiven you. You are not a killer. Stop killing yourself. I will. I start crying. The lady found me inside the toilet crying. Mm -hmm. I can use And what is happening? I told her, give me my phone. I remember, I never told mommy I tried to commit suicide. Because I know, when I tell mommy, we'll start praying for me so I can change my mind. I don't mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. to change my mind. Mm -hmm. So I called mommy crying. Mommy told, asked me, where are you? I told my mommy, I'm in Mias. Can you come to town? I'm here, not today, maybe tomorrow. I went to mommy, but I never told mommy anything. But there's this guy will always tell me, Anne, you are still in Kakamega town. Don't eat anything anywhere. These big bishops and pastors, 
when you look unafanya that job there after you so the, the, there is this bishop in Eldoret we i used to work to do that job for that bishop and we, that bishop akona bouncers one bouncer called me then me ah where are you i told that bouncer i'm in kakamega At, ah even me i'm in kakamega give me the location i told the, if you know ketia supermarket and uh, cooperative cooperative i told that guy come to when you reach cooperative bank you just call me mm -hmm. i will collect you mm -hmm. i was with my friend and this friend of mine is a woman told me and i hear many stories about you please please my sister maybe you can come and stay with me but don't eat anything anywhere even this bouncer i show you in my phone told me don't if you want to drink water and you have money, enter the shop or the supermarket, especially the supermarket, mm -hmm. buy the water and drink. Nobody, in anyone give you anything, don't. These people, they want you dead because they know you will expose them. Oh. They want to kill you. So that guy came with the, a soda, Coca-Cola soda. Um, I, I went with that guy to my friends. My friend sells clothes, second-hand clothes. I went there, I tell her, ah, Suni Nunuli a soda. Nambe, ah, I have soda here. Nambe, eh, you have soda. Same, yes, I came from supermarket, Nikanua big soda, and even I have tumblers, tote plastic glass. I told her, ah, we will bring the soda. So, what the guy give me the soda and the tumbler? He pretend like he's calling someone and he's walking away. Mm -hmm. He told me, ah, something came out, I will come. Mm -hmm. So, I forgot. My friend warned me about drinking or eating everything because these people, they know I will expose them. Mm -hmm. They want to kill me. I wanted to drink the cock, but my friend slapped the bottle. Oh, wow. And the bottle fall down, the soda starting coming out. People are like, ah, this soda is not okay. See the, the way the soda is behaving. Now I remember what? So that guy gave me that soda with cookies. My friend took those cookies and started squeezing, wasting those cookies and threw away. Mm. He slapped me, told me, Anne, let me slap you so you can come back to your senses. You want to die. That cock, that cock turned green. Oh, wow. After the, I went to lunch hour, there's no one there. They all, almost finished the lunch hour. But I remember I called the mummy and give the mummy the story. Two hours, few minutes, this guy I show you on the phone called me and tell me, and where are you? I'm, I'm in Kakamega town. Someone give you soda? I say, yes. You drink it? No. He told me, good. Nakakatasimu. So immediately, this guy called me. And I told this lady, you pick the phone for me. That guy asked that lady, where well, the and that lady pretended that the arm is not feeling well. I mean, took woman a stomach. We don't know what is happening. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, if or two, yes, let me come. So the gay, the guy was starting to come back. So my friend told me, you have to pretend. I lie down and start behaving like I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Anne, you have to go to hospital. Drink water. Give me water. This friend of mine went inside to pretend to give me a glass. He changes this water. Mm -hmm. He brings me another water. The guy now starts behaving like someone is calling. Let me go. I have some issues. I'm solving up their quick mat. I will come. Mm -hmm. The guy never came. So this bounder told me, Anne, I, they send me message. My dear sister, I love you so much. Please come out from Kakamega. Mm. And if that bishop call you, don't respond. Disappear for a few days. So I disappeared. Even mommy told me, you go and don't call anyone. Mm. I went. After two days, the bishop who sent this boy to kill me called me. Told me, how are you? Told me, I'm fine. Are you sure you are fine? I cut the phone mm -hmm. and I blocked the number. So remember, I still have this snake. Mm -hmm. But when I went back to Tim's mom, something attacked me. But there's a lady there who called mommy. 
they came and pray and pray and pray for me the snake come out mm -hmm. now i don't have any power but i can hear voices they try to convince me and now see you don't have house mm -hmm. people they don't love you they your siblings reject you you have no clothes you have no you have nothing now i'm in mess my senior pastor don't want to help me Anytime I call, they will tell me there's no money. There's no money. There, I went to my another friend. My another friend is a married woman, but her husband stays in Mombasa. He told me, I'm going to Mombasa, but you can stay here. You are a big woman. Only you, you can found friends or man friend can give you money. You can cook, but me, I'm not around. So I'm inside that house, but I don't have food. Mm. I will call mommy. Mommy will send me even a hundred because I will uh, they, if I go to Kakamega they will attack me so I say uh, this prayer is working slowly I want something who can <laughs> work <laughs> very fast something I want can activate yeah, everything, everything. Mm. so I remember there's a day I was like I don't want to see mommy anymore I visit a witch doctor he give me charm but this charm is not working I say now I don't have a dragon power. I have no power. I'm empty. I'm like books, but I'm empty. I want to teach this a witch doctor lesson. What am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I hear the voice of a spiritual husband told me in the night you will sleep. I will help you to teach that uh, idiot a lesson. So I went to sleep. Remember, I don't have powers. The spiritual husband ended me. Then there's this boy, I give chain and that boy died, appear and end me now. So I'm like, we are three people. I slept, then I attacked. I went out spiritually, I attacked this witch doctor very badly. Mm -hmm. I came back to this house. So these spirituals, the boy and my spiritual husband, they came out of my body and they stand and told me we were gone forever we will not see us again you go and change please go and change now you don't have any power you don't have dragon in the morning this friend of mine who is in Mombasa called me I hear our they used to call that Mzee Babu mm. our Babu that the Karumanzira man they teach that man and say, yes. Told me, hey, I hear that man is in hospital St. Mary's. Say yes. I wake up, I take shower, I prepare myself. I went to confirm mm -hmm. to the place, the home place. I pretend I want charm. So I meet two boys, the grand boys. Told me, no, our grandpa is not here. The, the one gonna beat our grandfather yesterday, <laughs> grandfather yesterday. <coughs> I, what is Wangwana? I, is those uh, charms. Those charms and those spirit. Okay. okay. They use spirit. Yes. They call those spirit Wangwana. Oh, so his own spirit. So they thought that his the own spirit, spirit attack. had hit, attacked him. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went to the hospital and meet the guy. I say what? You are a witch. This man is not a witch. You are the witch. Mm -hmm. this, that man was screaming, crying. When that man saw me, told me, my daughter, please don't kill me. I will go and throw away everything. I will repent and I will go to church. I will not go to mosque. I told that guy, that, Mze, that witch doctor, if you will do that, I will not attack you again. But if you will fail, I will do it. Mm -hmm. So, I told mommy that what I know mommy did, prayed. So I never bother to go and see that witch doctor again. So I start behaving like a normal woman. I can go to church. I can smile with people. But sometimes I, when I sit down and think the thing I did, I will cry. I will call mommy. I tell mommy. But I never told mommy I killed people. Mm -hmm. Mommy asked me, I mean, no, I will never. Because I start to, now i don't trust anybody because people in that church start gossiping about me they are afraid of me maybe i enter church people can see me and they will run away of me they will tell mommy 
this girl is very dangerous, stop praying for this girl, this girl is a pretender. But uh, my senior pastor knew everything is real. Mm -hmm. But he will tell me, are you just relax? We will see what we can do for you. But even now, I don't have my place I can call home. I still got my friends. I can sleep here two days, three days. I will call mommy and tell mommy, you send me some mud, but I thank God now I'm free. I don't have any powers. Mm. I don't fear anymore. Mm. I can enter church. I don't care if I don't have pray friends because I know I have Jesus. Mm. I will tell them I have a very unique friend and this friend is Jesus because this Jesus, Alini said, I will swallow the Bible. What make me now start believing in Christian? I forgot to tell you one thing. After running back, going through a lot, I get married to a Muslim guy for two months only. So those things attacked me. They called those Ma'alim, start reading those Quran, whatever, whatever. I quit that marriage immediately. But nothing is working out. But what came on my mind and say, all Christians, they are not bad. Mm -hmm. This is the Bible. I remember I swallowed the Bible to protect my pregnancy and I give birth to my two boys. I swallowed the Bible so I can eat. I swallowed the Bible so I can protect myself. Now I start comforting myself and now I will go to the church. But I will not go to the churches I know. I will ask God to lead me to the, the what can I say? A real church. The real church. Mm -hmm. After watching your story, your story give me courage. I say, mm -hmm. oh, look at this very beautiful lady. He did this. Now he's free and married. And he did these things before he get he have a children or anything. But mm -hmm. me, I have kids. I don't care if my husband will hear this story and hate me mm -hmm. because I have children already. Mm -hmm. If this lady did this thing and he saved. So when I, I hear, I listen to your story mm -hmm. and I saw Bamboo, I went to my phone to search that song, Usilete Kompe. <laughs> so I say, ah, if Bamboo can change. Mm -hmm. I listen, my girl and I penda that song. Uh -huh. So he will enjoy dancing. Mm -hmm. This the third one is mm -hmm. singing. So, hakuelewa ni nini nafata kwa hiyo YouTube to search that ka song. Mm -hmm. So, I was, no, mommy, this Erika is the right person to share my story. Because we share all, my story and this Erika story is almost the same. Yes. I have this faith. If you search for this Erika and talk to Erika, Erika with bamboo, they will understand me more. Mm. Mommy told me, Sir, you don't have a job, you don't have a house. If Erica told us to go to Nairobi, what will happen? Mm -hmm. And do you think Erica and Watuengi will listen for you? Sima, no, you, I don't want to contact Erica. You do this job for me. And before you do, pray first. Because mm -hmm. Erica and Aungiana Watuengi. Mm -hmm. And my heart is telling me, Erica is the right person. I can open up and share this story. I want this story to help young youth, young couples, big people to know this world is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Everything is fake. Three quarter is fake. These churches, mm -hmm. big men, big bishop, big pastor, they are fake. Yes. I want to, to help people to know maybe can serving the devil na mm hajui. -hmm. I want to help especially university boys and ladies i want to help them please do this but you and ha your husband i know you know how to pray mm. pray for me so i can connect with eric i want to end this thing i want to live poor but with jesus no you will not be poor i want to to suffer but with jesus i'm um, i told mommy now i'm happy but the problem i have i don't know how to read the bible mm. or to pray what I can say, I can, when I feel an attack, I will just say, Oh, Jesus, blood of Jesus, protect me. Blood of Jesus, protect my boy. But I want to know how to pray. Mm -hmm. But I will normally tell my mom, mommy, I know my husband will hate me. 
I'm going to do this because I know I will end my marriage, but mm -hmm. I don't care, but I cannot carry this heavy burden. anymore, burden anymore. Yeah. I want to be free. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I want to tell young people to be afraid. Anytime you buy even a clothes, a shoe, be very careful. Don't, I want to tell young people to don't like quick money. Quick money is very risk. Yes. Because I give young boys quick money. Wengine wakakufa. I talk them manpower. You know, give them money. But I want to tell people there, don't be scared about me. I'm not the same aunt. <laughs> yeah, don't be scared of me. I want to tell even, I know many people will watch, even my sisters. I want to apologize for them. This is the, this secret I did it for 16 years. But now, please, I'm not th that Annie used to know. Mm. I'm new now. Mm. I have no those powers. I'm free. I'm free and I thank God. But I want God to help me to know how to read the Bible mm. and to pray. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We thank God that you're free and that God is continuing to deliver you. Amen. Mm. And, and those voices, she will not hear them anymore. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. And even Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice and they, they obey. Mm -hmm. But a voice of the stranger, they do not they do not obey. Yes. Yeah. So when you listen to those voices, mm -hmm. then do not even pay attention to those strange voices. Don't pay attention. When the enemy tries to whisper, I can help, you tell him, I don't need your help. Because Amen. the Bible says, I can do all things Amen. through Jesus who strengthens me. Amen. So when you see you're in a situation that you don't like, you begin to look for what God says about that situation. And you begin to meditate on God's word. Amen. The Bible says that by faith, the just shall live. Amen. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. It doesn't matter how the world looks at you. God is a God of, a, of second chance and he's a God of restoration. He will restore everything that Amen. the enemy has stolen from you. Amen. The Queen Mother said that I have stolen your star and now you're empty. But Jesus came that you may have life and have life more abundantly. So his plan for you, he says, I know the plans I have for you. And my plans are to prosper you, you know. So Jesus wants to prosper you. You, you will grow both in spiritual knowledge and physical knowledge. You will know uh, how to survive in this world. Simon Peter asked him, now we <coughs> abandoned everything and chose to follow you. How are we benefiting? And Jesus said, 100%, I'll give you 100% in this world and 100% in the world to come. So we serve a faithful God. People are not faithful. People betray. People are liars. People pretend. People are fake. But God is real. Amen. And God is faithful. Amen. Yes. So thank you for <coughs> encourage to share what you went through. And I know someone out there is going through the same situation. And they are listening. And they are like, wow. If someone... Who's, who was in the situation like mine got delivered, then I can also get delivered. Yes. Yeah, so just be strong in the Lord Amen. and in his mighty power. Amen. When God is with you, yes. no demon can be against you. Amen. Our God is faithful, he's kind, he's merciful, and don't condemn yourself. He begins to change your way of doing things, your way of seeing things. He begins to change even friends. He gives you new friends. He gives you a new name. He gives you a new identity. He gives you his image because you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. So now, whoever looks at you and they see the past are in the past. You, you are a new person. Yes. No matter what they say about you, what God says about you is more important. Yeah. So you just listen to the voice of God. Ignore the voice of the enemy. Mute. Don't allow the enemy to whisper because he's powerless. And uh, concerning your life, he's under your feet. Yes. That is where God placed him. And you, God has given you dominion. 
He has given you authority. And when we are in Christ, we do everything as Christ. Christ forgave. Christ loved his enemies. Christ did not fight back, you know. Yeah, so we surrender all our burdens, our yoke, our heaviness to God and let God fight our battles. Yes. So, Amen. Yeah. So God is revealing these things so that the body of Christ can be aware. Mm. The vast majority of the famous so-called bishops, a lot of these famous pastors, a lot of these famous people who you follow, these people seek power, seek fame. They want instant gratification. They want instant fame. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, God is revealing a lot of this information, not so that we can hate pastors. Remember, this is not all pastors. It's not all bishops. It's not mm -hmm. all apostles. It's not all uh, of the spiritual leaders that we see. But mm -hmm. there are so many of them that now, it has come a time where the body of Christ must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Mm. And so anyone who does not have a personal relationship with their Bible, mm. with the Lord himself, mm. but is instead constantly re relying on our man of God, our man of God, our bishop, my bishop, my pastor, my bishop, my pa this spiritual leader of worship, this form of idolatry. The scripture is very clear. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5 says, Thus says the Lord. So mm. we know that the Lord himself is speaking. Mm. Cursed be the man that trusts in man and makes flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord. So mm. God himself is saying that any person who puts their trust in man instead of having their trust in the Lord himself, there is a curse upon that person. For he shall be like, a, like the heath in the desert. That heath in the desert, is that, it's, like a, it's like a weed. For he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited. You heard the things that this, this serpent vomited, necklaces and rings and chains and things like that. And these same bishops were putting these things on and these same ones are laying hands on you. So you can understand the, the sheer amount of curses. If you think that your good life will come through the man of God, that's a false way of thinking. That's a false doctrine way of thinking. <coughs> Jesus said, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said, Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So there is no broker in this situation between you and God. The only one who comes between is Jesus. There is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. So there is no, there is no other mediator. So if you have a mediator, whether, it is be, whether it's the, the, the mother, queen mother, or the uh, mother earth, or Mary mother of God, whatever, whatever you want to call her, you see how wicked she is. You see how blasphemous she is. You see how murderous mother earth is. And I want to encourage intercessors all over the world to start targeting prayers, not necessarily trying to bind her yourself, but praying that heaven would expose, would continue to expose this so-called Mother Earth to expose her operations and that others would come forward to expose her works, to be whistleblowers, to be heroes, so that the captives can be set free. You see how she is on a, this Mother Earth is on a murder rampage. She does not stop. Everywhere she goes, she kills. She is a venomous murderer. And the Bible speaks of her being exactly that. Sure, she appears to provide such riches and wealth, but it is at the expense of the innocent. See how thirsty she is for blood. She goes for children. She goes for young men. She takes advantage of people who go to the club. 
If you're not in Christ, you're, you're, you are at a profound disadvantage. And I want to encourage also any homeowners, families, before you welcome in any housemaid, lay hands on her first of all and begin to pray as a family. If she's not willing to pray, she's not willing to work for you. That's just, it's just have, that, have that as a standard operating procedure. And let her sign a document and that document should say that I'm not a devil worshiper or I am not in any secret society. I'm not in a cult. And that document is addressed to the Holy Spirit saying that I am not a, uh, um, an agent of the kingdom of darkness. I'm not here on a mission and they should sign. Now, if they are deceiving, they're not deceiving you. They're deceiving. They're attempting to deceive the Holy Spirit. Now, you saw what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. You do not play with the Holy Spirit. Because what they're using is their advantage of perhaps your ignorance. You don't know what they're doing in secret. But the Holy Spirit knows what they do in secret. So they will not try and, de and deceive directly the Holy Spirit. So they, they should go through that process before they join your home to work for you. Lay hands on them. Pray in the Holy Ghost. And then let them also sign that document that they are not agents of the kingdom of darkness. Even the ones you have right now in your house, let them sign. Otherwise, you don't know what you're bringing into your house. And if you have no measures that are set up to guard your home against the imposition or the infiltration of the agents of darkness, then you are like somebody who has, who has no defense. A, a weak-spirited person has no defense against darkness. So be wise in these last days and understand that the enemy seeks to infiltrate homes through house helps. And this is mostly in Africa and, or in third world countries or in, in so-called third world countries, but in developing countries, let's call it that, where oftentimes there are people who are able to afford maids, you know, and those maids will come and work in your home. Let them, let them read and say the name Jesus so that, you know, because <laughs> the spirits of darkness, yeah, the spirits of darkness, someone who is a covenanted agent of darkness, they cannot go through that process without there being some kind of, of uh, reaction or some kind of a manifestation. And if you are a prayerful people, then you should have that kind of a guard up so that when you lay hands on them to pray for them, as you are welcoming them into your home, there should be some kind of a reaction if they are agents of darkness. If they are not, then, then they have nothing to worry about. They should, not, they should not refuse to go through that process because you're not, it's not like you're initiating them into the kingdom of darkness. It's not, like them, you're, it's not like you're even forcing them to be born again Christians. But at the same time, you do not want agents of darkness in your home. It's just that simple because you're putting your family members in, in danger. Just trust God and keep, keep, uh, keep watching. You know, the Bible tells us to watch and pray. So observe them all the time be like they are new to you you know don't so, don't get so used to people strangers that have come into your house be on the know know that the enemy can use anybody so you just have to watch and pray amen and also amen. Uh, the word of god gives very clear instructions especially to young people the book of proverbs provides wisdom if you'll meditate in this book you'll realize that there is a right way to get wealth Mm. Don't let anyone deceive you that by being saved, you'll be poor, you'll be wretched, you'll be hopeless. That's a lie of the devil. Mm. God has a right way for you to obtain everything you'll ever need in this life. It doesn't matter how poor you come from, what kind of poverty, it doesn't matter how poor you are. Mm. God is able to raise you up. The Bible says he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the dunghill that he may set them with princes even with the princes of his people. It's God who raises up the poor. He has a right way of doing it. And Jesus described it perfectly. She, he said, man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. In other words, meditating on the word of God, living by the word of God, putting God's word in your spirit on a regular basis, 
will cause the word of God to enter into you. You heard her testimony. She she couldn't even read the scriptures, but she could tear pages and swallow them. We are not telling you to swallow. We're not telling you to do that, but we are telling you to meditate on the word of God. He said, this book of the law in Joshua 1a shall not depart out of your mouth. In other words, it should never stop out of your mouth. But you will meditate therein day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you'll make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. So good success exists and we are enjoying it. And it's not just us. There are so many believers who trusted in God and got it the right way. So there's no excuse for wickedness. It doesn't matter how poor you came from. We were poor. We believed in the word of God. We started doing what is written in the word of God and we came out from poverty. And so can you. Anyone can come out. God has a right way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So anyone who decides to take the dark path using poverty as an excuse, that, that excuse is a lame excuse. It's a lame excuse. Even people in the world who don't follow principles are poor. So... Even those who have signed covenant with the devil, if they don't work, they'll still be poor. Amen. So. And Proverbs chapter 2, My son, if you will receive my words and hide my commandments with you, so that you incline your ear unto wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yea, if you cry after knowledge and lift up your voice for understanding, mm. if you seek her as silver and search for her as treasures, then shall you understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He lays up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keeps the paths of judgment and preserves the way of his saints. Then shall you understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path he says when wisdom enters into your heart and knowledge is pleasant unto your soul discretion will preserve you understanding will keep you and watch what it keeps you from number 12 verse 12 to deliver you from the way of the evil man from the man that speaks forward things who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths. He's talking about these fake bishops. Watch the, watch the next verse, uh, verse 16. To deliver you from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flatters with her words, which forsakes the guide of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house inclines unto death and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life, that you may walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. So God has promised, God has made it a law, the wicked will be rooted out of the earth. They will be destroyed. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. If you continue in that lifestyle of darkness, there's only one way out, death. Other than that, your only other option is repentance. Turn away from sin. Turn away from iniquity. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and start learning his word. As your knowledge of the word of God increases, life improves. Mm. If your knowledge of the word of God does not improve, Life will not improve. So your, 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 the, 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 the quality of your life is almost directly proportional to your knowledge of the Word of God. That's why we, we, we raise up, we exalt the Word of God, even above any position of any bishop or any pastor or any evangelist or any leader. The Word of God is way above, way above me, way above any. The Word of God is what you should exalt. You should learn this book. You should fight to learn it. You should fill your heart and your mind with it. Fill your environment with the Word of God. Always be listening to it on your earphones or in your vehicle or wherever you go. Fill your mind with this Word and you'll be amazed how it can change your life. It can raise you and your entire clan out of poverty.
-hmm. It can raise you and all of your people out from every form of oppression. Mm. So it is important that you learn the word of God. It is critical that the word of God be full in you. Now, in closing, I, I don't want to keep you too long, but I do want you to know this verse. In Revelation chapter 17, you must know this. Revelation chapter 17 from verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto you the judgment of the great whore, the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed what? Fornication. That's one of the motives operandi of this queen mother. She wants young boys to masturbate. She wants young boys to have sex. She, she, she'll lead housemaids into unsuspecting homes or unspiritual homes. And there she starts sleeping with the young men. Before they know it, they're, they're having sex in dreams. And the next step is to have it physically. She said, the, the word says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. She is, she's like some kind of a, 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 a sex slave goddess that is, that, that is hell bent on killing. She, she hates humanity. I've, I've never seen such hatred. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Watch this. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So she was sitting on top of a beast that has seven heads and ten horns. And we know that's Satan. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked, which is decorated, with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. If there's anything we have learned from Anna's uh, testimony is that this queen mother is filthy. She likes repulsive and disgusting things. So when we see the scripture saying that that golden cup in her hand was full of abominations and filthiness of fornication. We know that this is the exact woman that the word of God is talking about. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great he used the word admiration, but he didn't admire her. That he, he wondered with great shock, like, wow. And verse 7, And the angel said unto me, Wherefore did you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. And here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is and the other is not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goes into perdition. Don't get confused about this writing. That city that sits on seven hills, he's talking about the Vatican. He's talking about Roman Catholicism. Seven, verse 12, And the ten horns which you saw are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said unto me, The waters which you saw where the whore sits are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. 
and the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman, the woman which you saw, is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So many of the leaders of this world have deals for, and have entered into covenants. You heard Anna talking about sign the covenant, sign the covenant. Why was Mother Earth, why was this mystery Babylon, mother of harlots, always forcing her to sign the covenant? Because she's a kingmaker. But with one king that is made, maybe thousands, perhaps millions of people's lives are destroyed from the making of one king. It is a system that is designed to promote one at the expense of many. And so when we are telling intercessors to begin aiming their prayers toward her, don't try to say, I bind Queen Mother in the name of Jesus. You're dealing with a fallen angel. You do not bind the fallen angels. What you do is you pray to the Father in the name of Jesus, that he may begin to send his angels, that he may begin to pronounce <coughs> judgments, that he may begin to pronounce judgments upon this Mother Earth Queen of Harlots mystery babylon mother of harlots that he will begin to send judgments upon her to end her operations because she is a murderer every day that passes she's killing more children killing women destroying families she comes to kill to steal and to destroy so now that the body of christ is tired of her we present her petition before the father to bring about the events that we see in the book of revelation the Bible says that God will pronounce judgment upon her and it is Satan himself who will destroy her because the Lord takes the heathen and destroys the heathen using the heathen. It's judgment. So as we reveal these things, we pray that God may fill your hearts with wisdom, with revelation, with understanding, with knowledge. These things are not to glorify the gory details of darkness, but rather to expose them as the Bible instructs us and to teach wisdom that young people, old people, wherever you come from, doesn't matter how dirt poor you might have been, it's not an excuse to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. It's not an excuse to kill your fellow man. And God has a right way of bringing you out. And if God has a right way, why don't you be patient and wait upon him? Because if you don't and you take a shortcut, you see how many young men died before their time, had sex with one sugar mama, mm -hmm. They die before their time. They become yeah. spirit spouses. They become murderers. They become slaves in the spirit. And I believe it is up until the time that God appointed you to die. Because every man has a set time where he is appointed to die. And it is at that time that he dies. Or it is at that time that he is supposed to die and then go on to heaven. And but if he sense. dies before his time, mm. then between that time that he died and the time that God appointed him to die, the enemy can enslave his spirit man in some way. Mm -hmm. And so that's where you're able to see these so-called, um, you're, you're able to see, you know, spirit, so-called spirit spouses and the enemy can use spirits in those, in those areas. Mm -hmm. So, and then we are not supposed to die because of calamities, yeah. you know, uh, because of prostate cancer, because of accidents, because of illnesses, you know, like God blessed David, David rested after he had accomplished everything that he needed to accomplish. We are supposed to live a fulfilled life and death is supposed to be rest, our, our time to rest, not something that will uh, put our children in danger. You know, if you die prematurely, your children suffer. If, if you die prematurely, your wife suffers or your husband suffers. But if you live a fulfilled life and you rest, everybody rejoices for your life because you have left achievements, things that your children can inherit. There will be, you know, a legacy that you have put in place and a standard. You would have raised your children the way you want them to, to be raised. But the moment the enemy gets us out of the uh, presence of God, then he can cause people to die before their time through accidents, through sicknesses, like she said, she would infect men with prostate cancer and through, you know, things that God did not uh, assign to destroy us. So Proverbs chapter 7 verse 5 
says that they may keep you from the strange woman, from the stranger who flatters with her words. In other words, this strange woman that Proverbs is talking about, this is mystery Babylon. She enters into human beings and does her killing. This is mystery Babylon. She's very skillful at entering different people and luring men to their deaths. Watch this, Proverbs 7 verse 5, My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them upon your fingers, write them upon the table of your heart. You see what he's saying? Be so committed to these scriptures that they enter into your heart because they can change your life and vanquish any kind of darkness, whether it's poverty, sickness, disease, habits, masturbation, fornication, it can vanquish all of these things. He said, bind them upon the table of your heart, write them upon the table of your heart. Say unto wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your kinswoman, that they may keep you from the strange woman. Who is the strange woman? Mystery Babylon, mother of harlots. For the, from the stranger which flatters with her words. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths, a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. Subtle means very, very shrewd in deceit and deception. Verse 11, she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she outside, now in the streets, and lies in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. Basically, she was saying, hey, you guys, let's go have pints, I have money. Let's go hang, let's go party. Verse 16, I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works and with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves, for the good man is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Basically, she was saying, my husband has gone away and he won't be back for a long time. Let's go fornicate. She was pulling him into fornication. Verse 21, with her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goes after her straightway, as an ox goes to the slaughter, mm -hmm. or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strikes through his liver, as a bird hastes to the snare, and knows not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, O oh, therefore ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not your heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. He's speaking about Mother Harlot, Mystery Babylon. Mary, so-called mother of God, which is a blasphemous name. She is not the mother of God. God does not have a mother that is a God. Let these things be understood. We pray that every last one of you under the sound of my voice may heed wisdom, may receive understanding. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this testimony that has gone forth. We pray for every soul under the sound of my voice, whether it's a young man or a young lady out there finding themselves with temptations. Mm -hmm. I pray, mighty Father, that wisdom may enter into their heart, that knowledge may be pleasant unto their souls, mm -hmm. that they may understand and avoid the way of the strange woman, mm -hmm. that they may know the operations of mystery Babylon, mm -hmm the great whore, the mother of harlots, that she is on a rampage and on a mission to kill, steal, and destroy the lives of God's children. Mm -hmm. I pray that households all over the world may become aware of her 
as we release this all points bulletin, this APB, mm. that all should be made aware and that all should know that this mother harlot, mystery Babylon, mother of harlots, has entered into covenants and contracts with very many spiritual leaders mm. and that the body of Christ should not be deceived by her or by them. But that now every man, every woman, every child of God in every place should begin to look directly unto the Lord Jesus for blessings, mm. directly unto the Father for any blessing, for any favor, for any healing, for any deliverance, and should cease and desist from the purchase of holy waters or holy oils, to cease and desist from, for, from looking for the man of God for a miracle. For the Lord can give miracles right there in your home for if, if you will seek him. So I pray, mighty Father, that the body of Christ may have wisdom. I pray that they may receive wisdom. I pray that charms and, and wickedness that the enemy has used these false bishops and false pastors to plant in people's homes, wherever they, have, they might have been sprayed by this water, they might have been smeared with this holy water. I pray, mighty Father, that the blood of Jesus may blot out all of those operations and cast out every devil that is in their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, mighty Father, that the powers of darkness, that the charms, that the spells that have been at work against those under the sound of my voice, that those spells may be broken and that the blood of Jesus may speak. And we speak in agreement with the blood and wherever two or three are gathered in his name, he's there in the midst and out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is established. So we speak in agreement with the blood of our redemption. We speak in agreement with the blood of Jesus that blots out every ordinance that is written against them, blots out every handwriting, blunts out every strategy of the enemy and we pray mighty father that the body of christ may be full of such wisdom now that the enemy can no longer utilize false prophets we pray that the body of christ may have such wisdom such power such understanding and such hunger not for men of god but for your word for you sent your word and healed us and delivered us from our destruction it is the word that delivers by knowledge shall the just be delivered so as the body of Christ begins to hunger for your word with an insatiable hunger, let them be set free from every strategy of the kingdom of darkness. Finally, Father, I pray that you may bless your children, bless those that are orphans, bless those that are, that are desperate right now, wondering which way to go next. I pray that if they're able to hear this prayer, that you may begin to bless their lives without even having to sow a seed, without even having to, give, to, to meet with any pastor, just a direct blessing from you that they may know that God not only hears them, but loves them and can hear their prayer. They don't have to go through a broker, that God can hear their prayer where they are and meet them at their point of need and deliver them. I pray for those who are also in the kingdom of darkness that are agents and think that they have no way out. Let them look upon Erica. Let them look upon Anne and see that God has delivered them. And if God can deliver them, God is also able to deliver whoever is still alive, whoever is still breathing, can be delivered. Repent, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord. And so, mighty Father, we give thanks that these things are established in your word, that the blood of Jesus speaks, that your word speaks, and that we, the saints, the body of Christ, we also agree and we thank you, mighty Father, that you are able to deliver, to totally transfer them out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. I pray that you may prepare, that you may continue to prepare a spotless bride mm -hmm. whose gowns, whose garments are spotless, without spot, without wrinkle, without blemish, without blame. Mighty Father, receive all the glory, receive all the honor as the enemy is put to shame and ashamed and exposed. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you, Baba Zion. Mama Zoe. AKA. Mama Zoe. <laughs> Mama, Mama Isha, AKA. Mama and, sister, and Sister Anne, the latest champion in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. God Amen. bless you. <laughs>